What is up YouTube? Silver Dragons here and in this video I'm going to unpackage some silver that I recently bought. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to talk about why I purchased these different types of silver items that I have in these two packages and then I'm going to show you a type of silver that I was buying a lot of in the past and I was recently offered a really good deal on some of it and I said no. So I'm going to talk about why I passed on that particular type of silver and also why I decided to buy these types of silver in these packages. So let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, let's get right to the unpackaging or unboxing or whatever you want to call it. Now, this particular package is from Black Friday. In fact, I think both of these I purchased on Black Friday. We're going to open this one up first because, well, I accidentally already opened it. <laughs> But we have a tube of silver rounds. I will show you exactly what these are. They are from Appmex. And I paid $2 over spot for this tube here. Okay, so it should be a tube of nice shiny buffalo rounds. So we have 20 in here. And wow, these are shiny. These are almost like proof-like. Let me show you one up close here. Really shiny. That's crazy. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen Buffalo Rounds this shiny before. So it's kind of like, I don't know, that's a crazy finish, but it's just one ounce of silver. I mean, the reason I bought these was because they were so cheap. I was like, you know, how could I pass up $2 over spot? And I'm forgetting what spot price was on Black Friday, but I think it was around $2 less than spot is now. So it's almost like I got these at spot if I were to buy them today, but uh, yeah, we got some silver rounds. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to test these and make sure they're real just because, I don't know, trust but verify. So let me test these real quick and make sure they're not fake silver or anything like that. Okay, let's do the first one here, and that looks really good. Yeah, I'm sure these are all fine. I could probably weigh them to make sure they're all one ounce. But these are all testing good. So, yep, we got three nines, fine silver, buffalo rounds. I guess I could test the rest of them later. I don't want to waste too much of your time. I'm just uh, using this original Sigma Metalytics uh, Precious Metals Verifier. Uh, this is the cheaper model, but hey, it's really helpful in weeding out fake silver items. Uh, but this was the other item that I bought. It is a John Wick silver bar. So I got this particular silver bar at Spot, which is a really, really good deal. Uh, these sold out in, I think, five minutes or something like that. So, yeah, I'm really excited about that. It's always great to get some silver at Spot, but it's a little five-ounce silver bar. And uh, I was actually lucky to get one because right after I got it, they ended up selling out of them. So, okay, we got silver rounds and a silver bar. This is all considered generic silver right here. So this is a great thing to be buying. Typically the premiums on this type of stuff are the lowest of all of the different types of silver you could be buying. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out this other package that I got here. This one I have not opened yet. So we will see what's inside. There we go. I did buy these from SD Bullion. Uh, this was, yeah, another Black Friday pickup. In fact, it actually might have been a Cyber Monday pickup. We got the uh, Britannias here. One ounce silver Britannias. They were on sale. I think they were maybe $4 or $4.50 over spot. And uh, that's a really good deal. These are the 2023 Britannias. And they do have the Queen on them, as you can see. This is the uh, Type 1, so it's the last year that the Queen will be on the Britannia. So I picked up some of those because it was just such a good deal. I think I got maybe six or seven. Or, yeah, I got six of those, and then I got two of the Philharmonics. They had a pretty good deal on Philharmonics as well. So we got some silver coins. These are great for investing or stacking, as long as the price is not too high. And then we got generic silver. So all of this right here... I recommend for new stackers. 
If you want to get silver coins when they're on sale or generic silver, those are always great options. Uh, but let me talk about the type of silver that I was recently offered and I passed up on. It's this stuff right here, junk silver or constitutional silver. 90% silver coins that were minted by the U.S. Mint before 1965. So you got your dimes, half dollars, and your quarters. All of this is 90% silver. So I was offered a private party deal to buy some junk silver at a fairly good price compared to where you can get it pretty much anywhere else at a local coin shop or, you know, from any of the online bullion dealers. And I turned the offer down. And the reason I turned the offer down was because the premium was just too high on the junk silver. I would have paid a higher premium on this stuff than I would have paid for any of these silver coins or definitely any of that generic silver. So I decided not to buy the junk silver. And it's not like I don't like to stack junk silver. I mean, check this out. Here are my completed guardhouse boxes. This one is all junk silver dimes. This one is all junk silver half dollars. So obviously I like to buy junk silver. I think it is a great thing to be stacking. It's a staple for stackers that live in the USA, but the premiums are just getting too crazy. And I did actually make a video not too long ago talking about how to understand the premiums so you don't get scammed, you don't get cheated when you're trying to buy this stuff. If you missed that video, I will put a link up in the corner as well as a link down below in the description of this video. Go check that one out and you can learn how to buy junk silver without getting scammed because the way that they charge premiums on junk silver, the way that it's priced, from basically every coin shop, every online bullion dealer, it can be very confusing. And so that's why I made that video. It's very, very helpful for new stackers. But yeah, I'm just not buying any junk silver right now. I don't think that the premiums are gonna come down anytime soon. They may continue to get higher. So I'm passing on this stuff. Anyway, this is the stuff I'm passing on. This is the stuff I'm stacking at this point in time. Hopefully, if you're looking to buy silver, this video could shed a little bit of light on sort of what to avoid. In general, it's the higher premium things. You wanna try and buy the lower premium things. The cheaper you can buy your silver for, the more silver you can stack. So in case anyone was wondering, I got a scale out here. And as you can see, the silver rounds, they do weigh just over a troy ounce, so that's great. And uh, the silver bar is over five ounces. In fact, it looks like we got some free silver, 5.033, so not too shabby. I'll take that every day. <laughs> but uh, anyway, what are your thoughts on junk silver? What type of silver are you buying right now? Feel free to leave a comment down below in the comment section. I do want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons, out.